If you believe in love and all that it can do for you, give it a chance, girl. You find romance. And if you find a tender only that is right for you, make it official with your face ass. Give them your love, yeah. What's up, my people? This is showbiz, huh, don't? All right, man, look. Anthony Joshua, did he run all Saturday night? Oops! All right, man, look. Let's get to the video. Anthony Joshua, good victory against Andy Ruiz, but did he run all Saturday night in his rematch against Andy Ruiz? And speaking of running, Anthony Joshua, he said he's tired of chasing Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. First, I wanna say this. Great live stream, very successful, over 370,000 views. We had new subscribers, a lot of new subscribers, I think 5,000 new subscribers. Uh, for all of you who are my subscribers now and new subscribers, uh, I will be announcing the giveaway in the community. So we had some uh, great uh, giveaways during the live stream. There were, uh, hold on. One, two, four, five, six. There were seven winners because I was giving away hats as well. So I will be announcing those winners on my community. Make sure that you're there. Now, coffee, boot, eggnog. Anthony Joshua, great win. We're going to be talking about how I was wrong in my analysis, where I was right. Uh, we're going to recap the fight a little bit and see if he was running or not. And we're going to talk about him saying he's done chasing Deontay Wilder. Mm. Nothing like Christmas in a cup. All right, man, look. Mm. <laughs> I love eggnog. All right, man, look. I want to say this. Anthony Joshua becoming two-time world champion. That is a great Feet. Now, a lot of people like to celebrate being undefeated, but avenging a loss, coming back, showing how you handle adversity, showing a little wrinkle in your game, showing how you adjust. What happens when the quote unquote boogeyman is in front of you again? Do you shy away or do you do the things necessary to, to gain the right tools to go into the rematch and beat him? That's what he did. Two time world champion. But that says a lot about those like Muhammad Ali, three time world champion. Those like Evander, the real deal, Holyfield, four-time world champion. So those are great accolades. It's not about being undefeated. It's about getting back off your back, getting up on your feet. What do you do when the chips are down and everybody's against you? That defines greatness as well. Now, let's talk about Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, one title defense. Is he Buster Douglas? I don't know. There was a lot of things that looks like Buster Douglas. Him doing the impossible the first fight by knocking out Anthony Joshua. But then coming back, the next time you see him uh, shaking, bouncing around like a bowl full of jello in this rematch, just like Buster Douglas, when he, when next time you saw him against Evander Holyfield, he was not in the best shape. Looked like he took Evander Holyfield lightly. Andy Ruiz, just thinking that he can just come in and knock out Anthony Joshua again. He didn't train. Uh, that's what he says, that he didn't train as hard as he did the first time he should have trained harder and now he was just whitewashed in 12 round decision in the rematch losing all of his belts which said which says a lot about people like Deontay Wilder 10 time title defense hell people like Joe Lewis what is that 25 time title defense I mean that lets you know it takes a lot of concentration it takes a championship's heart a champion's mind to defend your title time and time again so Andy Ruiz you need to go back to the drawing board understand what it takes to be a champion as far as Anthony Joshua he did what it took now Anthony Joshua did he run all Saturday night me I don't think so why because I love the sweet science. What he did, like he said, looking back in the past, which I do all the time on this channel, he said he liked the heavyweights of the 70s. And when you look at him on his toes, bringing back a style people just don't do often anymore. A lot of these heavyweights, like I said before, are plotters, which is why I said bigger isn't better. Remember when I said that? Him losing that weight, him having more fluidity, looking like a fighter, looking like a prize fighter, him bouncing around the ring. He did kind of look at the look. You can tell that he was in 
inspired by the heavyweights in the 70s. He did exactly that. Even Big George Foreman was on his toes at times. So Anthony Joshua doing what he had to do, bringing those adjustments to the ring, the responsibility was on Andy Ruiz. See, a lot of people are saying, Anthony Joshua, he ran. He should have attacked Andy Ruiz. Well, in attacking Andy Ruiz, then Andy Ruiz, it would have fell into his plan. Now, here's where I was wrong. I said that Anthony Joshua couldn't box as well as Andy Ruiz. Remember when I said that? I was wrong for two reasons. One, I didn't know Anthony Joshua was going to go back to the drawing board and add those wrinkles. When I saw Anthony Joshua his entire career, he was a big bulky guy. He had good footwork, right? He had good foot, uh, uh, foot hand speed, uh, uh, good uh, movement, but he was stiff. Pause. He was stiff. And all that stiffness, Andy Ruiz picked up. Pause again. But what I'm saying is, Anthony Joshua, he was forward and backwards type of fighter. He moved laterally a little bit, but he was a stiff fighter. What I'm saying is, Anthony Joshua, he proved me wrong by going back to the drawing board, adding those wrinkles, losing that weight, losing that bubbly, stiff muscle, him getting loose again, making his punches more fluid, snapping his shots. Now he's moving laterally. Now he's moving, giving those angles. And I didn't know that Anthony Joshua had that in this game, but I don't really think he did. I think he picked a lot of those things up. So he proved me wrong there. He outboxed Andy Ruiz. But on the other hand, another reason why I was wrong is because I thought Andy Ruiz was going to come in in shape. See, I thought Andy Ruiz was going to come in lighter. And I told you before, kind of time and time again, bigger does not mean better. Smaller, being at your fighting weight, well conditioned, that is always better. And I said these guys, these smaller heavyweights, being Anthony Joshua now and not Andy Ruiz, I said these guys losing the weight, Anthony Joshua, 6'6", six, six, but 237 pounds. You got people like Deontay Wilder, 6'7", but 220 pounds. You got Oleksandr Usyk coming up from cruiserweight. Hey, he's a small heavyweight. No, he's the right size for a heavyweight. Now, you have Andy Ruiz coming in looking like a big block of clay, 283 pounds. You can't outbox anybody when your feet are stapled to the canvas. So, two things happened from both ends. Anthony Joshua got better as a boxer, and Andy Ruiz, he couldn't box to save his life. So, I think the responsibility was on Andy Ruiz when he saw that Anthony Joshua, the challenger, Andy Ruiz, you are the champion. You knew that there was a, a chance that Anthony Joshua was going to stick and move. You didn't have a plan B. No, his plan B in the 12th round to say, come here, stand right here. No, I've been kicking your butt for 11 rounds. I ain't going to sit here and get knocked out in the 12th or put myself in danger. Like Roy Jones Jr. said, why take the chances? Why? You had people like Floyd Mayweather. He did the right things. Pop shot, like I said, I always love what Floyd Mayweather brought to the table. A lot of people call Floyd Mayweather a runner. A lot of people call Floyd Mayweather a uh, 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 you know, you know, a pop shotter, somebody who was boring. But Floyd Mayweather, he was well schooled. He was very smart. He had a sweet science. People like Anthony Joshua, that's what he was doing last night, Saturday night, against Andy Ruiz. What he was doing was shooting the jab, sticking and moving, showing that wrinkle. Now, after the fight that he won easily, not a mark on his face, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 saying Andy Ruiz was too ugly to be champ. Not a mark on his face, looking good after the fight. He said he is done chasing. Deontay Wilder. Whoops! What does that mean? Deontay Wilder. There's many of us who feel that Deontay Wilder dunked the DAZN deal, okay? I've actually changed it from Deontay Wilder ducked Anthony Joshua to him ducking the deal. Now, I don't think none of these fighters are afraid of, of each other. I really don't. But Anthony Joshua said he was done chasing Deontay Wilder, which means that he feels that he always wanted those fights. He said that in front of Eddie Hearn. I always wanted to fight with Tyson Fury. I always wanted to fight with Deontay Wilder. So we know, and he announced out his mouth, that he wants those fights. Now, he's even saying to Usyk, bring it on, because he has to defend the WBO title. Is that what it is? So he's telling Usyk, bring it on. This is a guy who always took challenges. So I believe him by saying that he wasn't afraid of Deontay Wilder. Now we have to look at Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, he has a fight with Tyson Fury. He can't look past him. Not at all. When you're talking about top three heavyweights, Tyson Fury is definitely one of them. And Deontay Wilder, he's the other one. So he cannot look past Tyson Fury. What he has to do is make sure he has that victory over Tyson Fury and that's significant. Everyone know that he beat Tyson Fury uh, uh, handedly the way that Anthony Joshua beat, beat Andy Ruiz Saturday night. Deontay Wilder has to prove that against uh, Tyson Fury. Now, afterwards, the shoe is on Deontay Wilder's foot as far as 
What is he going to say about Anthony Joshua? Always wanted you back? He's going to have to prove that him uh, ducking the DAZN deal wasn't him ducking Anthony Joshua. Can he say that he wanted Anthony Joshua as bad as Anthony Joshua wanted him? That's an excellent question. I would like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. But I'm going to tell you this about Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, he can be a flash in the pan. He can be a shot in the dark. He can be Buster Douglas, have his 15 minutes of fame, and that's what he was afraid of. Immediately after the fight, he jumped on the microphone and he said, how about three? I don't know if the fans really need three because not now that the fans are looking back at this, after seeing the, the second fight, they're looking back at the first one and saying, oh, that was a lucky shot. Showbiz, the adult. Well, Andy Ruiz fading into darkness. I'll tell you this by Andy Ruiz. He needs a fight. He needs a fight fast. He needs a fight with like Dillian White or something like that. Somebody with a name that show that he's not just a flash in the pan. Now he has lost to Joseph Parker officially, where I think Andy Ruiz should have gotten a nod. But now he has lost to Joseph Parker. He beat Anthony Joshua. Then he lost to him and one sidedly boxing. So people may feel somebody like Alexander Usyk would destroy Andy Ruiz. Somebody like uh, uh, Tyson Fury would destroy Andy Ruiz. And a lot of people feel that Deontay Wilder would knock him flat out that Andy Ruiz coming in at 283 pounds. He better start coming in at 245 because smaller is better. I'm out. Huh.